Hey folks, thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. Today let's get an update on the QMX build and the tools I used to build it. putting power to it son not a chance uh, I don't have a multimeter to test the continuity I don't have a loop to check for solder bridges and the instructions require those things and I'll tell you what the magic smoke may come out of this thing but it's not gonna come out because I didn't follow the instructions it was a relatively challenging build and you can see there my knobs are a little crooked I gotta go back and touch up a few things but it was a lot of fun and I'm going to tell you, it's a tight build, so get yourself a fine tip soldering iron. And while we're talking about those things, let's talk about the tools that I used. Let's talk about the soldering iron first. I used the TS-101 soldering pen. And if you hear bad reviews on that thing, someone bad mouths it, check for yourself. It's a good piece of kit, I think. A DC barrel jack goes in the back, puts in 12 to 24 volts, heats up to 400 degrees C, Multiple tips are available. This iron will do the job. I have seen different reviews from guys that I know and like giving it the eh for using as a soldering iron. Uh, soldering iron for your desk, your bench at home, yeah, it's, it's not made for that. But no soldering iron does every job. Just so everyone has uh, maybe more than one soldering iron, a variable control soldering iron on your desk, a butane powered soldering iron, a big old honking uh, million watt uh, soldering iron for doing heavy work, antenna work, automotive work. Uh, this one has a place. It's easy to use, portable, packable, and has several ways to get power to it. You can use a DC battery or the included AC transformer. It's limited, but it does a good job for what it can do. And as far as using at the desk, I have a Weller Digital at home, and sometimes I'll reach for this one first. It does not take a long time to power up. It has easy digital controls and readout. It's lightweight and less tiring, and the tips change out pretty easy. Top temperature is 400 degrees C, and I power mine with the same bioannual 3 amp hour 12 volt battery that I use to power my radio. It was no problem to make up a cable with the DC connector on one side and power pulse on the other long enough so that the battery can sit in one place and the soldering pen could reach the work area and sit in another place. This is the screwdriver set that got taken away in Incheon, Korea. Seven bucks at Harbor Freight. Pittsburgh Pro. Gets taken away, seven bucks. I've got another one. It's about five and a half inches long, which is legal in the States, and has a somewhat usable set of tweezers. This pair of Klein tool side cutters just happens to be the one I carry. The tips for the TS-101 are easily changed. Here's a really fine set, a tip, and here's the broader tip that came with the soldering pen. This really fine tip I thought would be great for uh, kit work. I wasn't able to use it. It didn't transfer heat in a way that I understood. Here's the tip that comes on the TS-101. And I can't emphasize, guys, this is a workhorse. Um, rather than pulling out the big soldering station or the gas-fired uh, soldering iron, I use this. I get a battery bank, get the transformer or my bio and I'm, I'm soldering away. Again, Amazon Weller sells this silicon holder for the brass tip cleaning solution. Amazon, again, JoyCube sells these two for $10.00. Hook them on your keychain, leave one in the truck, center console, everyday carry. Metal housing retracts to several different positions for safety. Two for ten bucks, I think it's an everyday carry solution. 
I hang it on my keychain. I hang one in my bag on the key hook. It's so small, it's not going to do any harm. Here's an update on my K6 ARK 100 watt. I put these little banana plugs on the antenna so that I can use it in the field. And banana plugs, Amazon. 25K resistor recommended by Adam to test his antenna, Amazon. Put the banana clips on it as well. Small batch of desoldering wick, Amazon as well. Yes, guys, if you see me walking through the airport, I'm carrying all that stuff so that I can enjoy my kit building. If you've hung on with me so far, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to my update. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.